Dan Mullen said it best. The only prize you get for winning a big game in the SEC is another big game. This one, though, no doubt bigger than last week as third-ranked Mississippi State faced number two Auburn. The winner, perhaps, will be the number one team in the nation by morning. Capacity crowd at Scott Field at Davis Wade Stadium and lots to cheer about early. Auburn turns it over on their first play from scrimmage. Dak Prescott makes Auburn pay. Takes a big hit, but gets the pass off to Deronia Wilson. Those are broken tackles and route to a 34-yard touchdown. 7-0 MSU. Next Auburn drive, more of the same. Tevez Calhoun makes a great tackle, knocks the ball loose. Dogs take over. Drive ends with a one-yard touchdown from Josh Robinson. 14-0 MSU. They will go up 21-0. Then things got a bit funky down on their own end. MSU fakes a punt. It was unsuccessful to say the least. That gave Auburn new life. So, second quarter, Auburn was settling for field goals. They finally got to the end zone. Nick Marshall to Quill Williams for a nine-yard score. MSU now only leads 21-13, but in typical Dak fashion, Prescott gets the last lap at the half. 15-yard scamper on third and 10, 28-13 state at the half. Third quarter, Auburn won't go away. Third and eight, Marshall fires on to incoming traffic, and Williams makes the catch. MSU's lead cut to 28-20, but every time the Tigers got within one score, Dak Prescott delivered. After an Auburn fumble and a kickoff return, Prescott hits Malcolm Johnson, and Josh Robinson finishes it off from the one. Mississippi State beats second-ranked Auburn, 38-23. What does this mean for the dogs? Aslan Hodges is a starkle with more. Thanks a lot, Ray. Mississippi State's 38-23 victory over Auburn adds the notch of a victory over the defending SEC champions to go along with neutralizing and dominating that Texas A&M offensive attack, as well as flatlining Death Valley and LSU. Dan Mullen called this matchup the biggest game ever played in Mississippi. He and the Dogs avenge last season's loss to then Cinderella Auburn. Yeah, that was my first loss as a starter. And I mean, uh, yeah, I wanted revenge, and I thought about that all week uh, and all offseason, really. I it was one game I really wanted to win, and I knew we had the talent. I mean, they're the, the SEC defending champions, and uh, we had to win this big game, and everybody stepped up. I look here, and, and, and a lot of people maybe doubted, heard all these doubts of, you know, what I, what you can't do. I, I don't believe in the word can't, you know. I believe if you're willing to work hard, you can accomplish anything you want in this world. Uh, and you know what? Those kids in the locker room believe that. They've bought into that as a program. Our university's bought into that. State will very likely move to number one in all of the major polls, but Coach Dan Mullen was quick to warn nothing has been accomplished yet, although his vision from six years ago is coming into full focus. Reporting in Starkville, Aslan Hodges, 16, WAPT Sports.